Hey guys and welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you how to add extra options to your WooCommerce products and allow your customers to customize their order. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. So we have these flowers over here with only one attribute which is the size and you can choose uh, whether you would like to get small, medium or large. But a product like that, it's a perfect example when we can use extra options to allow customers to customize it. For example, to add chocolate box, balloons, uh, write a note, etc. So it's definitely possible. And in order to achieve it, we will need to use a plugin called WooCommerce TM Extra Product Options. You can get it from the official website for $49 or from us for only $4.99. I will leave you both links in the description box down below. Once you downloaded the plugin, move on to your plugin screen, add new and just install and activate the plugin. Once you activated the plugin, go back to your products page, to any of them, to the one that you would like to modify and click on edit product and scroll down to the products data box and you'll see a new tab that was added called extra product options. Excellent, so let's start by adding a new section and that's the new section and we'll go into the edit screen of this section and we'll give it a name, we'll call it extras. Then we can move on to the general settings tab and change the default style to box just to prettify it and click on update. Excellent, now inside the new section we'll add our options. So for example, if we'd like to have the option to add balloons to the order, uh, we can decide to do it in check boxes, multi boxes, drop down, select box, etc. So let me give you an example with a select box. So we'll go with that one first. I will go into the edit screen of this option and under the label tab, I will call it add a balloon or add balloons $5 each. I can change the label type from H3 to H4 just to make it a bit smaller. And then I can move on to the second tab to the general settings, make sure this option is enabled, and then I can add more options regarding this section, which means I can add description, price, etc. So first of all, let's start with the first option, and we'll call this one Happy Birthday. So that will be the Happy Birthday Balloon. And I will give it a price, $5. Then I will add another item, and this balloon will be wedding balloon and that will also be five dollars and the last one i will add another balloon and i will call it i love you maybe it's a heart shape okay and that one also will be five dollars then i will edit i can see it over here and i will save the page every time you're doing something i recommend you to save the page and refresh the product page to see what it's going to look like and we can see that we have the size here and just below that we have the extras balloon uh, and it's five dollars each now i can see in that extra section that there is no chance for them not to choose a balloon so that's a mistake we need to make sure it's a, it's optional okay so we'll go back into the balloons option and here again under the general options we'll scroll down we'll add a quantity box to the left And just to make sure that there are no balloons that added by default will change the default quantity to zero. Then I will update these options. I will click on update to update the product and I will revisit the product page. And now I can see that the quantity box was added to the left. And then I can choose whether or not I would like to add a balloon. So let's say I want to add one balloon. I'll choose the style of the balloon or I want to add two balloons, etc. And the balloon prices will be added to the product total. All right, so that's very cool. Let me show you another example now with a different box. For example, by now we used uh, the drop down box, but let's say we'd like to add another box and this time it will be maybe radio buttons. So you can only choose one option in a radio button styles. So let's click on the edit section and then here we'll call it add chocolate 
similar to the other one, we will keep this label above the options and then we'll move on to the general options tab. Again, you have many different options over here to customize and change and edit however you want it. But because everybody will have different requirements, I'm going to keep it as is and just to show you the basics of how to use it. So I will scroll down and here I will add my three options. One of them is no, which means no extra price and that will be free. The other option will be milk. So if they want to choose milk chocolate box, that will be $10 and another one will be dark so they can choose dark chocolate box and that will also be $10. Once I updated it, I will revisit the product page. Again, I'm going to change something and revisit just to make sure it acts as I want it. And I can see the add chocolate option over here. Of course, I can test it, choose milk, dark or not at all. And another cool feature about this plugin is the option to add images to the variables. So for example, you can go into this attribute the chocolate attribute and click on add image and it will show you what kind of chocolate box they are adding okay so i will choose this chocolate box and then i will click on update and once i refresh the page i will see that the chocolate box image will be added to the chocolate section as you can see over here it show you the chocolate box and you can choose what kind of chocolate box you would like to have so that will improve upselling okay and let's give you another example by by now we use a drop down box and we use radio buttons let's add another section and this time we'll give them the option to add a note first let's rename the section we will call it make it personal and then we'll go into the option itself and we'll call it add a note just like so. We can move on to the general options tab and charge them per character, per word, etc. But I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to give them the option to add a note for free. We'll refresh the page. We'll see the add a note section here at the bottom. And it's totally free. They can type whatever they want. I think by now you got the gist of it. Let me show you some customization option, how we can predefine it or position the elements a little bit differently. And uh, for example, if we'd like to display it side by side, we'll just drag and resize this attribute. Maybe we'll make it 50%. And also this one we can make 50% and then you will see that it will jump a line and will be one next to each other. Let me show you how it looks on the front end. Now it's side by side. And of course you can add a balloon image to make it even. So let's put it to the test. For example, I would like to add one balloon let's start with the size first let's say i would like to have the medium size and i would like to add a balloon i can choose the variable for example i will keep it wedding and i can also add a chocolate box milk chocolate box and i will write a note saying i love you here at the bottom i can see the extras total which is 15 dollars for the box of chocolate and the balloon and the total amount including the flowers once I added it to the cart, I can view the cart and I can see full description of the order, size, the extras they added, and the note they wrote, along with the full price of the product. Alright guys, so thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding this process by leaving a comment in the comment box down below. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.